Right guys, welcome to Vernage Mill. All I was doing was checking my bike. Just wanted to see what the float look, look like settling in. Always come off. Oh, there you go. That was well, it wasn't even first putting. I was just testing, <laughs> seeing how the float sat. I still don't know, so let's set these off. How many fish you had, Dad? Dad's already had six before I set up. It's now 9.30. But I've been flying the drone, talking to Ed and... Let's check our time a bit with this one. I haven't got to sort the camera out either. Let's keep him low. Yeah, I don't. I I have no idea where it is though. I'm keeping it low. Oh, it's a tench. First fish tench. It's only a little one, but they all count. Let's have a look at him, guys. Oh, perfect little tench. I think, looking at him, let's just grab him in the net. He's a bit like a bar of soap. There we are. Looking at where the hook is, I say I'm a little bit over depth. Right, there we go. Let's get him back. Guys, I'm going to turn you off because I'm not happy with milk choice here. I think milk's way too big. So, just going to turn you off, swap the hook. I might even put a band on. Right, welcome back, guys. Right. Change your plan. I've put a band hook on and I'm trying with a green swing stem pellet, hard pellet. Uh, I've got my spot. Let's put them pellets in. Let's follow it down with that pellet there. Nice little tench first fish. Another tench. Nah, mate. Oh, the hooks come out. Let's get rid of that slime. More views on slime, guys. Never have it on your hook length. Right. Let's sort the fish out. Let's have a look at him. He's only a little fella. There we go. They are literally a bar of soap. Literally a bar of soap. Right, oh, let's get back in. Look at that. Thank you to the kind lady who made this for us at Furnace Mill. I'm almost 100% think it's Jane. So, here we go, comes on a plate, paper plate. Um, Sush and egg, red sauce. There we go. No controversy there with the sausage, cut the right way. Plenty of red sauce, 
plenty of eggs, soft bread. A few moments later. I can't fault these guys at these fisheries. Sandwich wise, they're, they're bang on. Oh. I can't give a 10. <laughs> can't give a 10. Not the first fizzy. Can't do that to anywhere, really. But that was solid nine, nine and a half. Oh, it's a gorgeous sandwich. Mm. Bernie smell. Brilliant fishy. Brilliant sandwich. No coffee today. Gone with the Coca Cola. Coca Cola since 18, since 1886. Not sponsored by Coca Cola. But if they want to send me some stuff. Anyway, let's get back to the fishing. Boom! Gotta be honest, guys, not happy with this float. Don't get me wrong, it goes under and everything, it just doesn't indicate properly. Don't know if you know what I'm. I don't, I don't even know what I'm on about, to be honest. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another rig on. I'm going to keep this one, so I might use this for doing some shallow fishing later. There we go. Oh. No. Right guys, just giving this a try, change the float. I've got a 0.4 gram with a bulk in between, halfway between the float and the hook. I wasn't happy with the bite indication on the other float because it was just like a bubble float. What I was looking for is the bite indication, especially being in the margin, I need to see like more sort of indication, like the float dropping down and stuff like that. Far more subtle and hence catching. Right, so, what we've got here, got ourselves a bream. Right. Come up, give up. Oh, I'm nearly splashing a bit. So let's have a look at them guys. Right, now I know that I've got the depth right. Because if you look, he's hooked in the top of the mouth in the middle. Simple as that to do that. Let's hold him over the net. There we go guys. Lovely black fins, big black eye on him. Right, let's get him back. Starting off on my gates down here. Right. So I'm fairly close in. Got a bit of bait out. Nothing big. Lovely chap though. Yeah, it's a little. Ooh. Beautiful little fish. There he is, guys. This is a little fella. Beautiful fins. 
beautiful plumage. And away. Look at a little bar of gold. Right, there we go. Something a little bit better, guys. Not much better, but a little bit better. I'd say it's another breed. Maybe not. First carp of the day. Well, not true carp. Well, it's an F1 in it, so. There we go guys, over the net. Let's get him back in. Just as a bit of clarity guys, I'm on peg eight of the furnace pool, which is the, just as it opens up into the locker, I call it a bowl really, uh, down this bottom end. It's almost like a canal. That sounds good, Dad. It's almost like a canal lake, um, and then it opens up to almost a like what would you call it? Like a marina, a basin. Pinch of my crows. Oh, saw that. Angle. Oh dear. All right, no. I've got a formula that's working, so stick with it, fish. Pinch of more crows and a squash cube of. Right, you can see the. It's all been. The silt's been blown up now, so they're definitely there now. So what we're going to try guys, I'm going to try a pink neons, Fuca. I've laid a, a base of my crows down, I'm having a bit of difficulty with the, them taking the, the meat. So, let's try these. Fuka two there. One, one up. Bear in mind I've had these almost a year and a half now. So I'm not even gonna squeeze that one. So let's see. Any indication? First time with the pink neons. Let's have a look, see what's happening. See if there's anything down there interested. They're definitely on it, aren't they? Right, here we go. There we go, guys, on the pink nails. 